What it do, man? BY3 the hallway. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Life made it five. Back at it again, man. The realest one on the net. Boss talk of business. Y'all know what it is, man. Subscribe to that channel. Do it now. I'll wait. Okay, you did it? Bet. All right, man. We're going to get right to it, man. We're going to be talking about the Honorable Chairman Larry Hoover. PML to everybody out there that's rocking. Y'all know what it is, man. <clears throat> All right, what's understood don't need to be explained, but we're going to get right to it. Now, right now, as we speak, they're trying to get Larry Hoover out. I'm going to let y'all know what's going on, and I'm going to help y'all to some things that y'all might not know because, you know, it's a lot being said, and I'm just going to give y'all the, the real on it. Okay, so in 2018... Yeah, I remember when Kanye West was going to the White House, right? And he was meeting up with Trump, and I don't know if people remember it or not, but he was campaigning and trying to get Larry Hoover uh, sentence commuted or whatever, right? Now, I didn't know this part, though. I thought it was just talk. What Kanye did, though, because Kanye did do some good. Check this out. Kanye got Trump to support and eventually signed to this act called the First Step Act. Now, the First Step Act, what it does is helps, like, if, say, if you got 100 years and you, I would say, like, it's hard to explain, but it really just cuts your time. You know, if you got, like, 100 years or if you got 50 under this new act, you, it can cut your time depending on what you're charged with or whatever, right? So... <clears throat> With that being said, I'm gonna give y'all the the backstory of what Hoover, you know, what got Hoover locked up. Not the whole story, just a little bit. Now in '73, Hoover caught a, a M charge. I'm gonna put it like that, you know, for YouTube purposes. He caught an M charge, right? Now while locked up, they say that he was, you know, doing a lot of stuff on the phone and. You know, he say, she say, some stuff they got on tapes or whatever, right? But either way, he got convicted of running a continuing criminal enterprise in 90... Was it 97? Yeah, 1997. And for that charge, he got sentenced to life. So he already had the M charge. And they, that was like, they gave him, I think, uh, 183 to 200 years just off that, you feel me? And... That's pretty crazy, man, being that you got 200 years for something people were doing back then and getting five and six and coming back home, you know. But, hey, that's what they gave him, man. But as we speak right now, though, two of his lieutenants, you know, have already been released. One being Johnny Crusher Jackson. He got his sentence cut to 20 years and was let out. And I'm going to talk about this judge that's, that's doing all this, too. And there go his picture. He was let out. And then you also had Gregory Short. Well, no, 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 no. I'm going ahead of myself. You had William Edwards. He was a, his sentence was reduced on the act. Now, he had 100 years. He had 100 years. And he got it cut down to 20. Now, the same judge that cut down their time is the same judge that gave Hoover his time. But that's also the same judge that's going to preside over this if they grant him a new case or whatever. Now, being if... Let me find it. Now, say if Hoover, if Hoover gets a new sentence and then he's released from prison, right? Under this act. Let's say he's released, everything go good. He still got to face that M charge, you feel me? See, it's always... It's something, it's something always tied into it. He got to face that M charge and he'll have to face that back at Illinois State. Let me see, yeah. Back at the Illinois Department of Corrections. And when he faces that, he has a projected parole date of April the 2nd, 2064. You see how they do? That they, they you, you see how they do, right? Now see these other people, they had just one charge all together, but who would he had two charges, you feel me? Now, dude, they got his time cut was already, you know doing his time on one charge but therefore he got it cut 
Now, let's talk about the judge. The U.S. District Judge Harry Lennonweaver. I'm not sure that's how I pronounce his name, but I'm just going to say Lennonweaver. And like I say, that's the same judge that gave Hoover his time. But he's going to be the same judge, you know that. Let me see, okay, if he, if he happens to get this, that judge is the one that can re, that can deny it or accept it, you feel me? So it's really all in his hands. But you have a lot of people that's pushing for him to stay locked up. A lot of people, man. I, I, I was reading this and it's amazing how like they say that if he get out, or if he get, not even if he get out, if he get closer to home, they don't even want him out, let, let, let alone, they don't even want him. In Illinois, you feel me? Because right now he's locked up at the ADX Supermax, and that's in Florence, Colorado. And to give you an idea how that is, they got the Unabomber there, El Chapo. You know, they got big name people there. I think Jeff Ford there. They got a lot of people there. But my thing is, why have these gangs like Jeff Ford and Larry Hoover, why have them there? And they're not convicted of these type of crimes that these other people are convicted for. But the way they see it, being that they started a gang, you feel me, and and it branched out all over. They just see them as the worst threats in the world, but really it's just because they're a black man with a lot of power. Because the same way they think that they can go out here and start these wars and all this and keep on insinuating it, they can also stop it, and they know that. Ain't that crazy? They know for a fact that if Jill Ford or Larry Hoover got out, that a lot of stuff would change, but they don't want that. They want people to keep doing what they're doing, man. All right, and uh, Shorty G, Gregory Shell, real name. He's also seeking a reduction under this new act. So we're gonna be hearing a lot of things here pretty soon, coming from coming from out the shy. You know, there's gonna be a lot of people hopefully coming home. Real talk, man. I mean, it's, it's actually a, a possible thing now. Like, I didn't think it was, but when I read this act and I really got in, in tune with it, I'm like, okay, this this really can happen. In the Hoover case, though, they, they still trying to railroad him, man. And all we can do is pray and hope that he come home. But like I say, even if he do get a new trial and released, they still want him to serve that M charge for the Illinois Department of Corrections. That happened back in 73. Now, this man been locked up almost a quarter of a century, man. Real talk, a long time. I think it's about time the man come home. Come on now, since 73 and it's 2020. If ain't prison for rehabilitating, if you're not rehabilitating in that time, come on now. And plus, don't you have to give a person a chance to show that he's rehabilitated? I'm pretty sure he ain't got into no trouble. I'm pretty sure of that. But y'all let me know what y'all think about it, man. I was just, you know, letting everybody know what's going on and let my folks and my peoples, everybody out there know, you know what the deal is and let them know what the real is. But y'all get in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Be wide through the hallway. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I'm going to keep hitting y'all with these videos, this real information. Not nothing false like most of these sites be doing, but I'm not no hater. Till then, me and hold up for you. Do what you're supposed to do, not what you want to do. And I don't want to see no other site start reporting on this now because I ain't seen nobody talk about it. I ain't seen nobody nobody bring no light to Fort, to Hoover, to the cause, to nothing. So don't do it now if you weren't doing it before. I'm out.